I'm going to create a part for a fourth axis Hans. First, I create view sheets for the different rotations. Then I open up the plane manager. The first plane is the same as top, so I just copy it and rename it. I have my A0 rotation. I activate it. I switch to my next view sheet. Use create from and rotate 90 degrees for my next rotation. Name it A90. Set the work offset to G54. Activate the plane. Set the view to that side. Go to my next view sheet. Rotate the plane again. Name it A180. Set the work offset to G54. Activate it. Set the view. Go to the next view sheet. Rotate the plane again. Name it A270. Set it to G54. My view sheets and planes are all set now. Now as I change view sheets, my graphics view will go to the last graphics view that was on that view sheet and my planes will swap to the next plane that's on that view sheet. So as I switch view sheets, I switch planes and I switch uh, graphics views. So now I can come in and toolpath each side of the part using face chaining. So a thing to think about for tomorrow is tomorrow's tool holder just stuck to leave roughing motion finishing. I gotta run, I gotta get a meeting See you guys tomorrow. Have a good weekend, See you later. Set my pickups. I'm using incremental here since I'm going zero off the center of rotary. Switch to my view, next view sheet and do my next cut at that rotation. Master camera remembers my previous settings for the toolpath. Next view sheet, next cut. Next view sheet, next cut. I've now cut on four sides of the part. Pull up my toolpath manager, select all my operations, and run machine simulation. So there's my four cuts. I can turn on my report, my axis control to check the different sides. I check my report for collisions. No collisions. Go back to Mastercam. Go back to my Toolpath Manager. Post the code. Search for A values, a G54 A0, rotate to A90, A180, A270, back to zero at the end of code.